Hannah here and welcome back to Tiger Tuesday. Today I wanted to start off with a question and what you think white tigers are. So I have three options for you. A, do you think that they're albino? B, do you think it's a recessive gene? Or C, are they an arctic tiger that helps to camouflage them in the snow? Whenever I was growing up, I always closed my eyes and would imagine these beautiful majestic tigers running through the snow fields in Siberia and helping them survive. So this is not true, and I think we all were taught a similar story growing up. If you guessed B, you were correct. White tigers inherit a recessive gene from both of their parents that causes them to lose pigmentation in both their skin and their fur. They're not a separate subspecies and they actually do not exist in the wild today. Back in the early 1900s, there used to be over 100,000 tigers and having these recessive traits is about a one in 10,000 chance. Even though it can happen in the wild, it was extremely rare to see and white tigers have not been seen in the wild since 1958. So why do we have so many white tigers here in captivity? There's actually 200 white tigers that are being taken care of by humans. There was a white tiger cub found in 1951. His name was Mohan. His mother and siblings were orange and so they were shot and killed. But Mohan was stolen from the wild and was bred in captivity. Where he was being bred, they found that if they bred him only back to his own daughters, that they could create another litter of white tiger cubs. And that is where every single white tiger comes from today. So we all know that inbreeding is bad. It causes a lot of debilitating health effects, but white tigers are beautiful and they are bred for profit. The people who breed them use them for circuses, magic shows, cub petting, and they make a lot of money off of these tigers and don't care about the health issues that they're causing. What we see in white tigers in captivity is crossed eyes. Their optic nerve actually wires to the opposite side of their brain, causing vision impairments. They also have cleft palate, crooked teeth, blood disorders, uh, hurts their organ functions, they go through a lot of kidney issues, and also extreme stillbirths in white tigers um, and the cubs being born. So how can we work together to help stop the cruel inbreeding practices of white tigers? AZA zoos have actually banned the practicing of breeding white tigers in their facilities. They have a species survival plan that is specific for conservation and breeding white tigers has nothing to do with protecting the species in the wild. So since 2011, there has been no white tigers born in a AZA zoo. So all the white tigers are currently coming from private ownership. By not supporting this industry, not going to places that use white tigers for entertainment, let you cub pet, that's a number one way that you can help these animals right now. There are two extremely important pieces of legislation that we talk about a lot on these videos and throughout our social media that will help to stop the abuse and neglect of big cats in private hands. The first piece of legislation is the Big Cat Public Safety Act. It will ban private ownership and cub petting. And the next one, I have to look at my notes because it's a tongue twister, is the Traveling Exotic Animal and Public Safety Protection Act. So of course that's why I had to read my notes. It's really hard to say. What this will do is also extremely important. It will ban federally being able to travel with exotic animals. So magic shows and circuses will not be able to use dangerous exotic predators throughout the country. Currently, Turpentine Creek is home to 18 wonderful white tigers. We could not prevent the life that they had before they were rescued by us, but we can ensure that they have a safe future away from exploitation, being forced to perform unnatural acts, and they have the best life in captivity as possible here. We encourage you guys to come out and see us at Turpentine Creek or any sanctuary that is accredited by the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. We work with them to ensure that all of these animals that are being rescued have the best life possible. So supporting true sanctuaries, you're making sure that these animals no longer have to suffer with abuse and neglect. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, and especially if you learn something new, drop it in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well for more educational videos each week. Thank you so much for participating. You guys are the reason why we're able to rescue these animals.